Hey guys, welcome to Leading Edge Martial Arts. Today is Friday, May 22nd. We got some interesting stuff for you today. We are going to be working on our combination and then we're going to throw some weapons training at you. So Joshu Scott's going to take you through the combination. I'll be back from Matt Chat and the uh, weapon stuff. Alrighty, my advanced class. So today, this is the uh, child and adult class today. Uh, we're putting two together. Uh, my pro put of black belts, we're all going to be working on the same combination. Uh, this combination uh, is as follows. I want you guys to take it in parts. I'm going to show it to you in parts. So we're in our defensive stance. It's going to go jab, recovering, back fist, front punch, back punch. Start with that. Get used to it, and then we'll move on to the next technique. So again, it's front punch, recovering, back fist, front punch, back punch. Again, front punch, recovering, back fist, front punch, back punch. Now that you guys have got that, we're gonna move on to the next part. So it's going to go front punch, recovering, back fist, one, two. We're going to slip, we're going to throw over the top cross, leg kick and land forward, and we're going to shuffle out of the way. We're in our stance. Front punch, recovering back fist, one, two. We're going to slip, over the top cross, leg kick, land forward, and then shuffle out of the way. One more time, advanced class. It's front punch, recovering back fist, one, two. We're gonna slip, <laughs> over the top cross, leg kick, land forward, and shuffle out. Advanced class, you're gonna need some room for this, so don't be somewhere where uh, there's mom's favorite vase or something, whatever it may be. Make sure you have a lot of space. Uh, and practice this over and over again. Do it both sides. Get used to it, guys. Uh, have some fun. That's all I have for you today. Sensei CJ is going to come back, and I think he's going to give you today's uh, park chat because we're out in the park uh, rather than today's match chat, and he's also, I think he's got something special for you guys. So have a great weekend, and I'll see you uh, next week. All right, guys, so my advanced students, you guys all know this rule, but I don't know how many of you guys are actually practicing it. That rule is one belt level a day, every day for 10 minutes a day. As you guys know, you're advanced class, so from now on, you need to know everything when you test. All your white, all your yellow, all your blue, all your green, all your orange, all, everything. You need to know everything for the upcoming training. So make sure you guys practice one belt level a day, every day, 10 minutes a day, and us as instructors will guarantee that you'll have full confidence when you go up to test. You won't even have any nerves or anything like that. Maybe some public stuff and, you know, maybe because Sensei Rob is up there, but you guys will be fine otherwise. So we are going to be rolling right into our nunchucks here next. So uh, I was working with a Kalmar on Tuesday morning and last Tuesday morning, every Tuesday morning, me and Mr. Kalmar work together. Um, and one thing I noticed with a lot of the nunchuck stuff is your speed. The speed is kind of... Um, not slow, but not fast. We're gonna work on that today. So how you're gonna work on that is one You're gonna practice you're gonna get a timer. You're gonna st start it and stop it So the way we're gonna do this is your standard strikes you have set one two three four on your right and then set one two three four on your left and then you're gonna take it five six seven eight now the objective of this exercise is to do it as fast as you can Watch for the nunchucks, don't hit yourself in the head. If you don't have two, that's all right. You can use one. One, oh, sorry. Set, one, two, three, four, and then switch over to this side. Set, one, two, three, four, and then go down the center. But if you have two, which is ideal, okay, you have your two, you're gonna start, your mom's gonna start the time when she says go, you're gonna start here, set. She starts it, you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then you're gonna come down the center, bang, eight. And that's when they stop the timer. Now, what I want you guys to do with those, if your parents have social media, post up your times and the videos of you guys doing it, and I want you guys to have a little friendly competition with each other, okay? One through four, left and right, five, six, seven, eight together, and that's when your timer stops. Now, if you don't know these, perfect. I'm gonna teach a team right now. We have set, one, two, three, and catch. When you go in the center, backwards, forward spin, back spin, and down and catch. Go slow when you're first learning it. If you try to go fast right away, you're gonna whack yourself in the head. 
And Calmore actually did that on Tuesday. We were doing a speed thing. He came back and whacked himself in the face. Luckily, he did not have one of these nice wooden ones. He had one of the rubber ones, so I'm happy for that. I mean, would have been an improvement, but it is what it is. Um, but like I said, have some fun with that. Post that up on social media. I want to see your times. If you don't have them, email them to me. Sensei CJ at leadingedgema.com. Everyone have a great weekend. Take it easy and have some fun.